Hello everybody, my name is Derek and today I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 favorites for Christmas plants. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and my and follow my Instagram account, Derek's Indoor Jungle. Uh, both vi This video is going on both accounts, so for whichever one you're finding, get it either way. And my website is DerekLobaugh.Wixsite.com slash website. Unfortunately, you do have to t type in the whole thing or you're not going to find it. Um, and I think I have this post on there already. So, let's get into it. Number one. The Giant Amaryllis. Mine's currently blooming. And it also is about to fall out of the pot. I need to fix that. I need to stake it and I need to do it right away. But, I thought I'd do the video first. Anyways, just take a look at this bloom. Why wouldn't you want this in your house? Why? And a uh, quick side note, these guys come in very, very different colors. Like this one is like white and red. There's just straight red ones. There's pink ones. I think there's white ones. So just have fun with those. I'm going to do the ones I have around me. Then I'll get into the pictures. All right. Number two on my list is the poinsettia. This is a poinsettia, one of my favorites this year, and yeah, I underwatered it, that's why it's kind of buried down here. And I'll also show you another one, for good measure. Ah. Here's another poinsettia. Um, poinsettias are very traditional, and you've probably seen them all over the place. Uh, they're actually, I'm going to, ma I'll make a poinsettia aftercare video, I did it successfully last year. So I'll, I think I hope I can do it successfully this year, even though I don't have any leaves this year. That might be a problem, but we'll see what happens. Cause there should about be three to four leaves on them, but I underwatered mine, so that does not happen. So, uh oh. Anyways, moving on. Christmas cactus. Mine's out of bloom now, but it was blooming. And it was very nice. Some of the blooms also dried off. But this is a Christmas cactus. And uh, if yours is blooming around Thanksgiving time, it may be a Thanksgiving cactus because they're 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 separate, they're different. Not very they're same the same care, same everything, but they're just bloom different times. Or like my my well, my grandma had one and it would bloom in the spring and bloom whenever it felt like it, pretty much. I had one that bloomed earlier this fall. And um, I don't know if it's winter now, but it might be. But, and it just bloomed whenever it felt like it. So, don't be alarmed, I guess. They do what they want. So, anyways, I like the Christmas cactuses because even during the year, they are easy to take care of. They are pretty, um, they don't need a lot of water. Cactus, and it's a succulent. It really don't need that much water, and they're just easy plants all the way around. See, do I have, I think I have another one that I have. Then I have to start getting photos. This is a Marble Queen Epipremnum, or Pothos. I like this because it reminds me of the snow. And it's, uh, it does that because of the white and the just nice white and green contrasting. Especially when the snow is melting. It really reminds me of this. So, I think. And, mo and both those are pretty easy to find and are pretty cheap at the same time. So, yes. This is just an all for it pothos. Um, one thing to note um, with the pothos is they can tolerate low light. They, don't, they won't grow the best, but they do tolerate low light. So if you have a low light space, ding, 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 ding. That is a great plant for it. Now let's move on. Most of these plants on the list I do have, just not in the townhouse. Because I'm, if you didn't, if you didn't see, I am in a different area. So I will start off with a Kalanchoe. Um, maybe. Kalancho. And the white, or Kalancho, you can call it that too. Um, I like, most specifically the white Kalancho, not Kalanchoe. Um, there's other Kalanchoes too that are, but this is what I'm looking for, the flowering Kalanchoe, like this one right here. This is a white Kalanchoe. These, um, snow, 
So, just a very, uh, calicoes are very hard to get to rebloom, but if, but they normally, they normally bloom for a good three months at least, if not more. So they're really, um, good plants, and they are hard to get to rebloom, but, you know, you can buy another one. Another one is herbs, like lavender and all kinds of other herbs. Any herbs are just beautiful because they have that nice smell, and it's just, they're amazing. Why not have an herb? Who doesn't want an herb in their house? I, should, I don't know if this is exactly what I'm looking for, but here. Yeah, there, lavender herbs. I'm not very experienced with herbs, so I can't tell you much on them. All I know is I like the idea. I actually got the herbs idea from Plants Arena. She made the same video, but she, I think I'm adding more plants, some different plants than she had, and I also took some out from hers. So I did change it up because I, I had different ideas. Which, and honestly, some of my content is going to be from um, other YouTubers, but I'm going to shift it around. I'm going to change it a little bit. going to add some information, take something away. You know, it'll all be different. Next up, the Lemon Cypress. The Lemon Cypress, I have never had one, but I've see, I, I'm eyeing them at Walmart right now. Um, they're, they're pretty, they're nice. I like them. They're like little trees. They're really beautiful. They, they're really great for the holidays. And oh, this one's blurry. Let's get a photo that's not blurry. Because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see something not blurry, maybe. You didn't come here for blurry. Pretty sure. Anyways. That's probably what you're going to get. <coughs> Anyways, this is a lemon cypress. They are really beautiful. They kind of remind me of a ficus dorata for some reason. Probably just the stem. A ficus dorata is a thick. I happen to have one right here. I'll show it to you. Completely not related, but ficus dorata. Oh. Now the now it's gonna give you the good picture. So I'll give it to you now that it loaded. Anyways, moving on. Next plant I would like you all to pay nice attention to and listen carefully because ugh, this one can get ugly. This is a cyclamen. If you know cyclamen, you know they are fussy little things. Uh, cyclamen, I have never had good luck with them. My one of mine died in two weeks. I um, have had trouble with them in the past. I just can't do it with cyclamen. I can keep them for at longest a month probably, and then they die. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do about them. I might try them one more time. I don't know, but they're kind of a pain, and I don't like them. They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're beautiful, but they're a pain in the butt. So I just don't know what to say about them. I don't like them. They're not easy plants, but if you want them for the holidays, go ahead. They've got really nice colors for holidays. It's got red. They got, I don't know if there's green. I think there's green. I don't know. There's white. I know that for sure. There's pink. There's pink and white. Anyways, I'll just show you the picture. And hopefully it loads by the time you guys see it. I don't know. These are cyclamen. And um, I guess just have fun is all I can say. Is have fun with them. They are not easy little things. They're, they're not easy critters. Okay, my next plant is an Aglaonema, specifically the wintry wine house. The wintry wine house has that snow effect. It's also snow. It's also called like Snow King or Snow something something or other. Um, I'll show you a nice one right here. Aha, nice. This is a wintry wine house Aglaonema. It gives me snow vibes, and it just reminds me of white and snow, and it's a very gorgeous one. I have one. These are very, these guys are extremely low light tolerant, so if you're looking for a low light tolerant plant that you can keep throughout the year very happy with minimal water, you really don't have to water them that much, then the Aglaonema Wintry Wine House is definitely for you, or any Aglaonemas. Really, I have one here, but I didn't, I wanted Wintry Wine House, and that's the one I was looking at. Okay, next up is the, I have one at home, like most of these plants, the Norfolk Island Pine. 
kind of a mouthful, though. The only thing, it's a mouthful. The Norfolk Island Pine, is, they, they get giant. They can turn into trees. They're beautiful, but they can turn into trees. And, like, they could, you could use them as a Christmas tree if you get a big enough one or, you know, any of them. I put lights on mine. Uh, I can I can post a picture. I probably will. Anyways, but here is here's a Norfolk Island pine. They they give they are Christmas tree like, very Christmas tree like, and I like them personally. I would I would honestly have this for a Christmas tree. I really would. I don't know about you guys, but I would. So this is a Norfolk Island pine again, and I hope that you guys like it. And I hope you guys can actually see these pictures. Otherwise, I don't want to redo this video, but I will. I have to. Anyways, you guys all have a great rest of your day. This concludes my list, I think. Yeah, it concludes my list. I... Anyways, I hope everybody's staying safe during coronavirus. I didn't say that. This pandemic. I didn't say the whole four words. It doesn't count. Hopefully. Anyways. 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 Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Um, subscribe or follow, depending on which where you're watching this from and uh if you and you know i would appreciate it if you'd leave a comment if you have anything to say and uh any feedback will be greatly appreciated thank you all and i hope everybody stays safe bye i'll see you on my next video